everybody, welcome to episode 52 of the Joys of Games podcast. Sorry about last week, we couldn't make it happen as promised, but you know what, it's probably for the best. It gave us a, another week to kind of settle in and do some more in-depth research for the podcast here tonight. Hopefully, it will be worth the wait. I am one of your hosts, Josh Brown. I am joined by the man who refuses to leave Hyrule, Colin Wheeler. Oh, were you, were you talking to me? I think so, yeah. Can you can you put your switch down for just a second, Colin, so we can get mm, through the intros? Um, I know. Do I, do I have to? Those Joy-Cons oh, are is, like... Is this, is this a requirement? Physically attached to your hands now, aren't they? Well, I'm, I implanted them, so... Yeah, probably for the best. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to play on the go. Yeah. Why not? Right. I mean, you don't have time to keep switching in and out. No, I don't have time. Yeah. You never know when a game of quick draw is going to break out. Absolutely. (laughs) Or do you need to milk that virtual cow? Dude, sometimes you need that virtual milk. Got to be ready. You know? Yeah. Fill the cup as they fit. Fill the cup. Yeah. Hi, Colin. Hello. Are you ready to talk about the Switch? Oh, yeah. The Nintendo Switch, the newest, greatest, hottest console on the market out today. And definitely not in store shelves, because you can't buy these suckers anywhere. Yeah, I feel like we've never talked about it before, so it's this is a good time to jump in and start talking about it. Yeah, it, it, you know, we're going to need an introduction pro, uh, period. You know, we're going to need to tell people exactly what we're talking about, because I don't think anybody knows about this. Um this weird little niche thing that Nintendo came out with. Uh, but we'll do our best. We'll do our best here. Yeah, Nintendo's like directly trying to compete with the Ouya. I don't know. We'll see how it goes for Nintendo. I mean, they have, everybody you know, should be jealous of the Ouya. Let's be real. I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. I am being real. Yeah. I mean, so. the Switch Pro controller, I hate to say it, looks a lot like the Ouya controller. Yep. Pretty much the same thing. <laughs> In fact, they should, they should worry about a patent lawsuit, so... Watch out. That would be the most money we ever made. <laughs> Just oh. settling out of court. Oh. <laughs> you know it's true. Well, yeah. Goodness gracious. I think they lost money on everything that they shipped out. Yeah. Without a doubt. Um, No, this is our Etc. episode. This is the end of the rotation. This is us talking about whatever we want to talk about. Um, we don't want to save this for the Nintendo episode because the Nintendo episode is going to be 100% Breath of the Wild. Um, that's Legend of Zelda, colon, Breath of the Wild. I think there's a colon. Is there a colon? I don't think so. There should be a colon. Probably. Grammatically speaking. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Nintendo does their own thing. Right. If you write it out, I think there's a colon. Except if it's in the logo, then you don't need a colon. Right. But if you say it, you definitely don't need to say colon. I'm looking at the logo right here. There's definitely no colon here. In the logo, no. But if you were to write it in an article about it. But why would I want to do that? It's not in the logo. Call it. It's not all that. Listen, I know English good, so it's fine. You do. You do. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. You know? You're you're a product of the public school system, and I apologize for questioning that. Right. You should. You should. (laughs) Um, Yeah, no. So our Nintendo episode next week will be all about Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and what we think about it, our impressions, our... Um, stories, our experiences. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun, but that won't leave a lot of time to talk about the Switch itself. Also, let's be real here. There are a lot of people still playing Breath of the Wild on their Wii U's, and that's okay, and we want to accommodate to that. We don't want it to make it a, a Switch episode when we're talking about Breath of the Wild because, you know, it's a multi-console game. So, by eliminating that, we are allowed to talk about the Nintendo Switch here on the etc episode because we've had it we've had it for uh almost two weeks now yeah it's kind of crazy how fast time has gone like i was thinking about it i was like man i just picked up just the other day and then i was like oh actually no it's almost <laughs> been it's almost been two weeks exactly it's crazy yeah um came out march 3rd uh i've been playing it a whole lot colin ever since yep. i got mine i don't know about you yeah, I think out of all the launch systems, like I'm always excited whenever a new system launches, but out of all the launch systems, I think I've played this one by far more in the first two weeks of it being out. Sure. I mean, obviously Zelda's a big factor of that, but there's 
a lot of other stuff too that's like whenever someone comes over i'm like i'm like come here come here come here play with my new <laughs> toy with me play with my new toy with me <laughs> and it's uh, every single time like you know after they play it they're like man we got to get one of these like that's that's yeah. that's awesome yeah versus i feel like the wii u people are kind of like yeah this is fun yeah mm, it's cool big yeah. chunk of plastic yeah yeah but like like when the wii came out you put that controller in people's hands they're like here bowl with me yeah that's the same reaction <laughs> playing the wii for the first time like yeah. just there's it's fun yeah it's just it, it's fun and it's easy to understand it's like, not it's intimidating not, yeah yeah not at all like you hand a non-gamer a playstation controller or an xbox controller they're just like yeah not for me i don't care right. like there's too many buttons <laughs> yeah and, and i mean the switch has the same amount of buttons right but depending on what you're doing with it like you could instantly remove that uh that intimidation factor from it and uh just let people ease right in and experience it how they want to experience it yep so you have a nintendo switch i do uh first of all which version did you get uh, I got the what is it? What do they call it? The, the basically the black one. I think it's something gray. The basic switch. The basic switch. You a basic so, switch, aren't you? Yeah, I got that basic switch. Yeah, you would be a right. basic switch. You and your pumpkin spice lattes. Oh yeah. Your UGG boots and your basic uh, switch. Well, yeah, I gotta wear my UGG boots. My feet get cold, <laughs> especially up here, man. Yeah, Ooh. man. Although they keep getting ruined in the rain, so it won't stop raining. So I just have to keep buying more UGG boots. It's fine. Yeah, it's a perpetual cycle of. You losing it's, money on stupid things. Honestly, I'm helping the economy. So, <laughs> and honestly, we uh, and could use it here in Oregon and killing helpless animals. And in, in I time. don't think that's true. Uh, nope, never heard of that before. <laughs> that's fake news, buddy. Uh, I said it has to be real. Um. Okay, so you got the the basic one. Um. You have just the one switch, right? As you've been saying all along, you're just going to buy the one switch for the household, correct? Right, just the one. Just yep. the one Nintendo Switch for your household. Your entire household that's full of gamers. Uh, you just wanted the one Nintendo Switch. and <laughs> You know, the one console that everybody's going to share. It's the family console. We're all going to share this one Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Right? Y- yeah. Okay, um, cool. Um, yeah, well, no. No, no. no. Wait, what? Hold on. So, Colin Wheeler? I did- I did a bad thing. When you say bad, you mean awesome? Right. Like bad to the bone, right? Bad, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just like that one song. Bad to the uh, bone. <laughs> yeah. Just not like that one song, bad to the, to the bone. Yeah. Yeah, I I, uh, I got another one. Um, so I appeared one on Amazon, and I appeared one at Best Buy, and I uh, I kept them both. Whoops. Now, what was the intention of pre-ordering both? Because Honestly. It, was back, it was a backup okay. in case one got canceled okay. from either one of them. And I forgot about it. And <laughs> it's one of those things that, like, I after after it got shipped, I was like, oh, well, I can just return to Best Buy or, or you know, sell it to a friend that wants one. Sure. Um, But no. No, we kept it. So actually, I have a basic black one, and I have a the colored one as well. Now you opted not to go for the neon color. Yeah, originally I was just like, I I like the black look. It's really sleek and it looks really clean. Mm-hmm. Um, but then Amazon had the colored ones up, and I'm like, well, the color. I know I knew for a fact that they were making less of the colored ones. So that for some reason in my mind, it's like, ah, oh, there's less of those getting made. I eh, mean, I'll pre-order that one too, just in case. <laughs> And yeah, so I have one of each. Um, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the multi switch household, Colin. Yeah, yeah. It's it's nice. Because it's a cool group to be a part of. Sometimes I just don't like to share, you know. Yep. Uh, I also got two Nintendo Switches. I got one for myself. I got one for Valerie. Um, ordered from Best Buy and Amazon, same as you. And, uh, you know, things, things went well, Colin. Things definitely went well. Um, plenty of switches to go around. Um, I myself got the colored ones because I'm a colorful guy. I'm a colorful personality. And oh, yeah, I need sure. my Nintendo Switch to reflect that, Colin. 
I'm not a basic switch. What color would you say you are? Um, you know, you know, some days I'm definitely blue, and other days I'm definitely bright red. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, or do you feel like you're a neon though? Like, oh, definitely. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. I didn't yeah. know that about you. Yeah. I mean, okay. I may not show it. Um, I may not express it, but I'm definitely neon. Okay. Yeah. All right. I glow color. Okay. Yeah, I shine I didn't, bright. I didn't know that you were like a pregnant lady. That's fine. Like a shine bright, like a diamond. Um, and I got Val the the gray one. Um, I tried to talk her into the colorful one. I'm like, these are really good. She's like, nah, I like the gray. I cool. like my basic switch. So, she got herself a gray. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you had your shipped, right? No. No, so I actually, so the, well, obviously the Amazon one was shipped, but uh, the Best Buy one uh, actually went to the Midnight event. Mm, mm. How'd that go for you? It was actually really smooth. Uh, so I had just gotten back from a uh, Portland Trailblazer game and got home just in time to drive over to uh, Best Buy. Mm-hmm. And normally when there's Midnight quote unquote midnight releases at Best Buy, it's it's basically twelve o'clock Eastern time. So normally it's like for us on the on the West Coast, the best coast, um, <laughs> it's at nine PM. Right, right. So Ooh. um this time I I was able to go be, I was only able to go because it was actually a regular midnight event and I didn't even realize it was it was midnight local time. Until the Nintendo rep came in and I was helping her put up the display and she was like, I was asking her if she was going to come to the midnight event because a lot of times the Nintendo representatives come out for events and stuff like that. Sure. And she, she said, no, you know, I have a kid at home. Midnight's too late. One of my, my coworkers may come out to one of the Best Buys. I'm like, oh, well, I'm like, well, it's actually nine o'clock. She's like, no, I'm pretty sure it's midnight. I'm like, hmm. Okay. So then I go look at the poster and it says 12.01 a.m. local time. I'm like, ah, mm-hmm. ah. I can go to this one. So uh, I was able to get there at around 1130. um, And I had pre-ordered everything. So I just went up to the counter and they basically sold all the stuff to me. And then I just had to wait at the door until midnight to leave um, and got a cool like double sided poster. That was kind of like a nice. It's not like a flimsy poster that you get sometimes for free. It was actually a really nice like. I don't know what the material is. Cardstock. Cardstock. There we go. Mm-hmm. Poster. So. Sure. Yeah. That's solid. That's solid. Um, yeah. You know, it's okay if you want to wait in line like a sucker. That's cool. <laughs> well. You know what time I strolled up into my midnight release, Colin? 12. A one? About 12.15. <laughs> like a boss, Colin. I walked up. And there's one guy at the door. He's like. Uh. You here for the switch? I'm like, yes, sir. And he, like started like getting like all, all worked up and agitated, like he was gonna have to kick me out because obviously they ran out of stock. Do you have a pre-order, sir? <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. He was like, oh, well, come with me, and he guided me right over to the customer service desk. I'm like, yeah, suckers. Um, and eventually I told him my name so they could go pull my order out. And they had to bring out an entire shopping basket full of things. Yeah. Because I didn't just get the Switch, Colin. Um, and this is just the one Switch. I didn't even get, like, both at the store. So this is just the one Switch. Uh, but six games. Um, now you're asking yourself, but Josh, they only came out with five on launch day. Well, I had to get two copies of Zelda for Val. One for yeah. Val, right? Obviously. The other games we don't need multiple copies of. We could share one, two Switch. We could share Just Dance. We could share Bomberman. We could share Skylanders. Zelda, though, you need your own Zelda. Everybody needs their own Zelda. So six games, a uh, whole bunch of Amiibo. I don't even know how many Amiibo they released. Whatever they released, I got. Um, and then the Skylanders starter pack, of course, which is huge. And, uh, yeah, so I had just had this entire shopping basket full of stuff, and everybody's like, oh, my God, look at that guy. He has so much stuff. Because everybody else is, like, standing in line with, like, a pro controller or a charger grip or an amiibo or just a game. And here I am with like 
this gigantic order of things that I didn't even wait for. I just strolled in and picked yeah. up, you know. I was in the same boat as you because I had the, the Master Edition and I had the... Yeah. Uh, I had the Pro Controller, all the Amiibo, which the Amiibo were like, especially the Guardian Amiibo oh is God, so huge. Big. It's so big. And I have the console and I have, you know, ugh, it was, I was just like trying to like hold it all. And I was just like, basically like guarding it with my <laughs> life as if someone were to attack me. Right. Like right, I didn't right. even want to set it down. Um, even though I was surrounded by people that I knew, I was just like, don't, don't yeah. look at it. Yeah. Don't touch this it. Mine. Get Stop away it. from me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. They uh, also threw in a bonus copy of Skylanders Imaginators for me. Um, because they're like, you know what? That looks like a guy who really appreciates Skylanders. <laughs> We're going to give him two copies. Yeah, you of all people. Yeah, I would definitely say deserve that. Right? Isn't that weird, though? <laughs> when you told me, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I looked through my receipts. I looked through my orders. I looked everywhere. I did not get charged for a second. Because at this point, I'm just like, okay, I was ordering so much stuff at one time there's a good chance that I ordered multiple of Skylanders, right? That's not beyond the realm of possibilities. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I didn't order anything. They just threw in an extra copy. All right. Just for the sake of uh, appreciating my business so much, Colin. Oh, I'm sure that's what it was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I uh, went home and set it up and played it for a couple hours and then decided, you know what? I'm taking the day off tomorrow. I'm going to go to bed. This was a good night. It was a successful night. I'm not going to stay up all night because I have all day tomorrow to do what I want. Um, thankfully, um, didn't have to wait around in the morning too long because I was starting to play it and Val's getting a little anxious because she's seen me play mine. And I'm like, hey, you can check it out. You can do what you want to do on mine. It's no biggie. Um, and hers from Amazon got delivered at about like 10 o'clock a.m. 10, 10 a.m.? Oh, yeah. nice. Which is unheard of for like usually like the earliest we get amazon deliveries is around noon or so right mm -hmm. so we're th thinking it was going to be about that but th it's like they knew they just knew that we were waiting for this so she got hers and we were able to set it up and everything was uh it was good it was a good first day with an nintendo switch i will say that um I'm surprised you got it that early i i read so many people had issues with amazon like mm -hmm. they seriously botched this whole thing, including canceling Master Editions, like, at the last minute, and, like, not having any of the regular editions available, and then people getting their shipments delayed, like, yeah. for me, like, it wasn't too bad, but, like, it came at, you know, came at noon or whatever, like you were saying, but, like, I feel I feel for the people that, that waited, because if that was me twiddling my thumbs and t for my Amazon delivery, I'd be so upset. Right. Well, here, I mean, here's the thing. They canceled my Master Edition of Zelda, so... I feel like they owed me a little bit, and, you know, I, I got the Switch a little bit earlier than I would have expected, so. Did I get the Master Edition? No. Am I still bummed about it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Am I, have I moved on? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, Colin. <laughs> pretty much. Um, so what accessories and stuff have you gotten for the Switch? So I got the Pro Controller. Okay. And I got the Charging Grip. Mm -hmm. Oh, you and did? I got, okay. Yeah, and I got a pair of the blue and red uh, Joy-Con uh, combo package. Oh, you got a separate pair, huh? Yes. Which, let me tell you something. Okay, because we need to talk about these things. It's so amazing having two blue Joy-Cons on both sides, and my wife's uh, Switch has two red ones. It looks so slick. And that was one of the main reasons why I didn't like the color one to begin with, because it was like the colors were not um, symmetrical or well, I think that's what it's called. Uh, mm. <laughs> maybe not symmetrical. What's the word where they're the same on both sides? Either sure. way. They're, yeah. OK. I can speak words good. Yeah. So the I set that you got, you got a left red and a right blue. So, yeah. So if you don't get the console with the colored joy cons uh -huh. there's no way to from my understanding there's no way to um get those colors like the red the red one is right and the left one is blue but if uh -huh. you buy the 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 joy con separately the the red one is left 
and the right one is blue. Awesome. I was I was kind of upset when I saw like the combo packs of the colors because I'm like, I don't want the same colors that I have on there. Like I would want to make it so, like you said, so you could have two blues on one switch and it look pretty sweet. So yeah, that's why it, I didn't buy it because I, I just assumed that you got a left blue and a right red. Yeah, it, it looks super slick on both the systems. And it's also super easy to distinguish which one is which as well. Yeah, definitely. So, um, okay. Yeah, so did you get the extra Joy Cons just so you could mix and match the colors and make them look good or what? So there was, um, actually, uh, you know, I, I actually didn't get any kind of like employee discount on any of the accessories, but there was a promotion going on through Best Buy. If you purchased, um, anything that's over a hundred dollars and you pay the visa card, you get $25 off automatically and okay. it worked with pre order. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy the, the joy cons because I know they're going to be sold out for a long time. And they have been like, we haven't gotten any more at work except for the gray ones. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to get the charging thing as well. And that was for a couple of different reasons. One, it was because I thought I was going to use that for, um, uh, snipper clips. But I didn't realize, like, you just use a single Joy-Con to play that game. And also, I was thinking about Mario Kart 2. Okay. Or Mario Kart as well, I should say. <laughs> and this is, of course, before you decided that you were going to keep both Switches. So you're thinking, yeah. there's three people in this house. We're going to have one Switch. has two controllers on it. We're going to need a, 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 a an extra controller or two around That's here. right. That's right. Mm-hmm. And then, like... The... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it? No, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the, the thought process too, or keeping that extra switch, I was like, you know what? If I get an other pair of Joy Cons, it's eighty dollars. So I'm only really only paying two hundred and twenty dollars <laughs> for the new console. Sure. Um, but you know, whatever I can do to justify it. Yeah, definitely. Josh, just let me, you know, okay. let me have that. Okay, okay. Um and then I also got a memory card and I got a USB-C cable, but I don't think it will actually work, so I have to return that. Oh, no. Why not? It's not strong enough. Oh. So, th- I got this re- nice braided one. Well, I mean, I had, like, the power... Have you ch- have you tried yours? Mm-hmm. And it charges it while you're playing? Um, while I'm playing, like, it, it will keep it, like, pretty much what it is. Okay, so it doesn't go up, but it does lo- also yeah. doesn't go down. Yeah. Okay, see, I haven't even opened mine yet and tried it, but all the stuff I was reading is like, you can't use standard USB-C cables because they don't hold a strong enough charge to charge or whatever, so maybe I'll try it out and see if it works. Um, But that, and I also got the uh, screen protector as well. That That was one of the first things that I bought. So you did get a screen protector. Yeah, I have them on both, actually. How is it? Uh, fine. Uh, the only thing I will say is like, there are like minor air bubbles in it, which kind of sort of annoy me, but I can rarely see them unless it's like a completely black screen or a completely white screen. Like in the Zelda loading screen, I can see it, but mm-hmm. like when it goes to actually playing the game, I, I don't really see the air bubbles. And um, the first one, I had a harder time that within the second one. The second one, I actually had the official Nintendo one that came with the black um, carrying case. That yeah. one was a lot easier to not only put on, but, like, I was able to peel it off without it being all gross and nasty, and I was able to reapply it again a second time. Hmm. So the official Nintendo one, I think, is the way to go. Even though I was reading that the Hori one, which is the one I got for the first one, was way better, I I disagree. I don't think it's better. Hmm. Okay. So you got the sticky kind, then. Yeah, so I I read... um, I read that the there was glass ones, and I was really excited yeah, about that. glass. And then I started hearing that it starts melting inside of the... Like, not melting, but, like, you put it in the dock, and it gets so hot in the dock that it starts, like, unapplying itself. Oh. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't stay. Same with the... There's a hoary... Like, there's, like, two hoary ones. There's one, that, the brand hoary, that make a lot of gaming accessories. They made one that was, like, a, a thin just plastic piece and then there's like their ultra guard one which was double the price and i was like eh, i don't need the ultra guard thing i'm not gonna be chucking this thing at the wall um so the thick one apparently also has the same issue where it actually starts melting inside of the switch dock hmm. because it gets too hot so that's why i ended up going with the just the plastic the sticky plastic ones because everything that i've read that there there's nothing wrong with those two so interesting 
Hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't really think that I wanted or needed screen protectors, but the more I hear people talk about screen protectors, the more I think about it. Yeah, the main just, thing... I've that... never liked screen protectors for anything. I don't like screen protectors on my phone. I don't like them... It, I don't... They just bug me. Yeah, so I agree. I would rather not have screen protectors. Um, I have the glass one on my phone, which I really like. It's way better than the plastic ones I had before. Mm -hmm. uh, but my my thing with it is is... I, scratches bother me, like really bother me on my electronics. And the fact that the, for some people, the dock, if it's not like placed perfectly in there, it's scratching the screen. Yeah. That would just, I would just flip out. Like I would be so upset if it did that. So that's why I was like, I have to get a screen protector. Right. And even before the, the scratch thing, like reports were coming out, I, in my mind, I was like, this thing is totally going to get scratched going down that thing, unless it's like super soft inside. And then they, you know, I saw like Nintendo Wire and a bunch of other places were taking close up pictures. I'm like, there's no padding in that thing. Like, yeah, that, it's just going to, it's plastic on plastic. That's totally going to scratch. I don't know why they didn't foresee that. <laughs> hmm. um, so that's why I was like, okay, I got to get a screen protector. And it, it's fine. Hmm. Yeah. It's, and I feel, I don't feel worried about it being scratched when I put it in the dock. Sure. Well, maybe I'll look into it. So, so what are you doing with your extra Joy Cons then? Uh, the ones that aren't attached to the systems. Correct. They're just in the, um, the just like the standard grip that the system comes with. Yeah. So it's the two black ones. They're just in a standard grip, and I just have them with like all my other video game controllers right now. Mm. Um, I use a charging grip <laughs> because uh, my wife primarily plays with the Pro controller. Um, and I've been playing with the, like, charging grip with the two Joy-Cons. Okay. Uh, so tell me about the charging grip. Yeah, so the charging grip, it, it's, I mean, it charges the the Joy-Cons. I will say, like, you know, those reports about the disconnecting of the left Joy-Con? Yeah. I'm having it happen to me. Really? Uh, yeah, pretty frequently. Oof. That's um, not happened to me at all. So... I have like I have so many connected devices in my entertainment center. I have my my Xbox One, my PS4. I have my router, my modem, um, PS3, Wii, like all this stuff. And my my TV has a Wi-Fi signal, so like there's tons of Wi-Fi stuff, and I think that's one of the main reasons. Um, but the other thing is, I found that if it's close, like if it's in five five or six feet, it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. But once I like set it down on the dock and sit down on the couch and try to play like it'll disconnect every so often. And there's been like workarounds online that you can look into that may or may not help you for a lot of people. It's helped. Um, and it's like a weird, like syncing and resyncing your controllers option. Okay. And I've tried that a couple times and I haven't had a disconnect since then, but who knows? Like, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen from there, but it was really like frustrating because I did keep dying in Zelda or in Stipper Clips. It's like there's like <laughs> a moment that I had to do something very specific. And then like my guy would just like freak out and not not work at all. Um, and the biggest frustration with the, the disconnecting thing or the poor signal thing is not only when it disconnects, at least the game just pauses and it's like, please reconnect controller. Sure. It's when you're pressing the left stick forward. And nothing happens, and then all of a sudden it like catches up. So you're like <laughs> you're bolting off this. I'm like, oh man, it's such a bummer. But yeah. that that is that has been my only uh, complaint with the switch so far. And since I did the little trick thing, hopefully, hopefully that remedies the issue. Sure. Okay, so the um, yeah, my my concern if that starts happening, like Mario, it needs to be fixed by the time Mario Kart's released. Yeah, I mean, if it's a software thing they can do it, then great. But if it's a hardware thing, ooh. Yeah, oh, I know. Oh, oh. But, like, you can't put out Mario Kart that, like, needs that precise, specific, you know, control all the time. Like, you can't... If you're running around Zelda and it lags a little bit and then it catches up, like, you fall off a cliff and you die, whatever. Like, you're just right back. But, like, Mario Kart, like, that's going to make people lose their minds. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. 
Um, so the, 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 the charger grip, is it worth it? Um, or if you just, you don't have the test case yet to, I, I don't have enough. I don't, I don't have enough test case for that just because I don't, I use it, but I don't, I don't, I haven't used it. I think enough because like how I've been playing is I typically let my wife play on the TV and I'll play on the tablets. So they're always like connected, right. except for every so often when it feels like uncomfortable, like around my thumbs and stuff, I'll disconnect them and, and put them in the charging grip. But like, I haven't really had to take advantage of actually having the joy cons be charged because the joy cons last a really long time. Like right, the pro right. controller, we've had to charge one time since we bought it, but yeah. we haven't had to charge the joy cons. And I think that's just because it charges in the system, but right. It's not, it's kind of weird to me. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's a, if it's a recommend or if it's a, just get a pro controller type of thing, you know? Sure. I guess it depends on like, if, if you like it in, like, if you like the joy cons in the grip and that's the most comfortable way to play, I absolutely recommend buying one just because like you will be playing a lot and you will be playing, you know, Splatoon and all these other games a lot. And the motion, in my opinion, the motion control and the joy cons work so much better than the pro controller. Like I feel like the pro controller's motion is really like awkward. Sure. Um, because there were some, there are some motion control based shrines in Zelda and, um, they don't Don't get me started Colin. Yeah. They don't, it's, it's to the point where like I was trying to do, trying to do a, um, a shrine, with the pro controller and I was just losing my freaking mind because I just could not get it to work. Um, and since we got the second switch, I actually had put about 20 hours into Zelda on the first switch. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about it was, is I, I let my wife have the, um, her save cause she had about 20 hours in it as well. And since you can't transfer saves, I had to restart the entire game over on the second switch. Boy, oh boy. Um, which is quote unquote my switch. <laughs> <laughs> um, and when I re went back to the temple, I played it with the joy con and I disconnected from the system and mm. it was so much easier. Like it's so much easier to control. It's so much easier to understand like what motions you're doing. Like I think the joy cons motion control is just far better than the, than the pro controllers. Mm -hmm. So there's some advantages and disadvantages. Like obviously the pro controller, it feels like an Xbox controller. Like it feels really comfortable. Um, the buttons are really big. Uh, but the the Joy-Con is cool because, like, it's really compact and it feels good in your hands. Um, but the NFC sensor, too, for the Amiibo is so much easier to use that use on that than the Pro Controller. Yeah. You just stick it on the, what, the right joystick, uh -huh. the right Joy-Con, mm -hmm. and it just works. Versus the Pro Controller, I feel like I'm moving the Amiibo, like, around the center of it, trying to get it to work. And it, in Zelda, like you put it on on there and it'll make this weird uh -uh noise if it doesn't <laughs> detect the amiibo and it's just i'm just it, it's i just feel like that the, the joy con has a lot cooler functionality but the pro controller is more comfortable to hold i guess <laughs> right 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 <sighs> yeah 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 i got a pro controller i love it it feels good it, it's it has weight to it whereas like the wii u pro controller did not like yeah, that never it, felt like a felt legit like... controller it felt hollow. Like, yeah. like there's nothing inside. Yeah. It was always weird to me. Like I appreciated the design. Like ergonomically it felt good, but it just I don't know. Like it just it didn't feel like I was actually holding the controller. Um but this pro controller for the Switch, man. Oh boy. Feels good. Feels good in the hands. Um but other than that, like uh memory cards I got, uh, or S D cards I should say. S D micros. Um the USB-C charging cables. Um, oh, cases, cases, cases. So I had ordered these two cases from Amazon. Uh, one of them was this really nice like denim design with the Switch logo in the corner that Val really liked it because it was basic. It was sleek. Um, she liked the colors. It was gray. That's her jam. Um, and then I ordered myself one. Same thing, but it was like a Mario print. And mm -hmm. it had, like, a little gold coin on the zipper and everything. Like, totally me, right? And I was so excited. And then Amazon sent me a notice saying, hey, we'll deliver deliver these anywhere between March 27th and April 20th. What? I was like, wow. Jeez. You're dirty like that, huh, Amazon? Holy First crap. you take away my Master Edition, then this. Oh, my gosh. So I'm thinking, okay, 
I still want them. But, like, we want to take our Switches around. We want to be mobile with them. I want to take it to work every day. Val wants to take it when she's going out and about and doing her thing. And we can't just, like, just flop these around just willy-nilly. Like, you need a little bit of protection. Right? Yeah. So, I just went and I bought two, you know, horror cases, which were nice. They're, like, the, the black bubbled-up ones. Um, uh... They worked great. They were perfect. And then all of a sudden, Amazon's like, hey, remember those things we said we're going to take like a month and a half? Uh, they'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Amazon. Uh... Thank you for that. Uh, so we each have two cases for our switches. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can accessorize now. Yeah. I mean, it depends what kind of mood I'm in. Exactly. Uh, basic switch mode or, uh, or design. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't go extra Joy-Cons yet. Haven't seen a need for them with anything that we have or are doing. Um, especially, like, with two Switches, I was like, well, you'd easily just take the two Joy-Cons off of the other Switch and use four if need be. Because um, yeah. you could do that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can okay. you connect you can connect them. It's oh man, that's the that's one of the coolest features about this thing is you can easily just slide them off one switch and put them in the other one and it'll automatically be like, "Oh, synced, good to go." Yep. There's no there's no holding down sync buttons and like hoping for the best. Like it's just click it in there, okay, it's good. You can detach it, you're fine. Click it in there, good. Detach it, you're fine. Yeah. And go about your business. Cause, like that's totally what we're going to do for Mario Kart. I mean, we'll, we're 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 going to play that as a family split screen and or if we have like if Hayden has a friend over and we want to do like, you know, four player or whatever, we can we can do that um, mm-hmm. just by detaching it and reattaching it. Like, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So just waiting for a reason to get more Joy-Cons, I guess, at this point. Um, nothing didn't get the charger grip or anything like that. Uh yeah, um, that's accessory-wise, that's it. Um, like I said, I haven't had the syncing, desyncing issues or or whatever issue you want to call it with the left Joy-Con. I've not experienced that at all. Um, but what do you think of the Switch itself, man? Let's talk about this this piece of hardware, this beautiful piece of hardware. Yeah, it's, it's so slick. It is by far the best-looking, in my opinion, the best-looking Nintendo console. Like, it does, it feels very premium just looking at it and holding it it also feels really the premium. Like it, it feels like the first time it held a Vita, but yeah. like expanded out and right. like a lot bigger. Well, what's stupid is I still don't feel like I'm holding a console. Yeah, to, me too. I always, I, in my, it's hard for my brain to wrap around that it is not like the Wii U where, I, and this isn't the controller. This is the whole thing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, like even, even when I'm like out and about and i'm playing it it's just like this needs to be connected somewhere to something yeah nope (laughs) it does not yeah it's it is really it's a really strange sensation because it's just like i have basically i have a a a pretty powerful console but it's in in this little tiny tablet yeah which like this thing is thin like it is so thin like Mm -hmm. it is it is about the depth of the original iPad, right? Um, which is just crazy to me. And the controllers are so perfectly thin; they look so perfectly small, but they feel so good in my hands. Like the 3DS, one of my main complaints with 3DS is it's just so uncomfortable after playing it for a while, um, just because the buttons are really small and my hands just they don't I don't know it just doesn't feel good in my hands. Like right. this one just feels good. Like in every like the sticks feel good; they feel like a proper console. It's just awesome. Yeah. I thought I would miss the D-pad, but I don't really. Yeah, I have I have some friends who are, like, really in the Smash Brothers scene and the fighting game scene, and sure. they're, like, disappointed that there's no D-pad. Oh, they'll have something for Smash. I already said on Twitter earlier this week that I'm, like, one of the predictions I think they're, they're going to do is they're going to bring back the Wave Bird. Like, yeah. it's the, the, the GameCube controller with the adapter sold so well on the Wii U. Mm-hmm. That, like, it'd be stupid for them not to bring that back to the Switch because Smash community and myself, who's not really part of the Smash community, I just like Smash, right. um, we'll just eat it up. Well, here's the thing. Like, they they have Smash and Evo. Like, they are serious about being serious about Smash. So, in order for uh, people to continue to, ca- to keep thinking of Smash Brothers as a serious game, they need to put out controllers that will 
uh, appease those hardcore players. So, yeah, 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 and, and that those friends too are also they can actually compete in Evo. So like that's how hardcore they are. Right, right. Um, did you see that Arms is going to be at Evo? Is it really? Yes. Is so oh. there was like a, a voting that they did for like the the final like turn tournament that they're doing. Okay. And the the highest vote was Arms. So I'm really interested to see people play that, especially like people who are going to play with the controller versus people who are going to play like with motion controls, like which one is going to be better because uh, Splatoon motion controls is actually the superior way to play that game. Right. Like you can get so much quicker uh, aiming with motion controls. So I'm, I'm interested to see like what the dynamic is going to be for that. Yeah. No kidding. Um, joy cons. How do they feel? Do you like them? Love them. Yeah. Um, there's times in bed when I don't want to hold the whole tablet, so I'll just detach them and just hold them like one in each hand, just like the Wiimote and the Nunchuck. Mm-hmm. Feels great. Yeah. It's really weird at first. I'm like, this just it's just not right. And then like, it's so nice just having the screen on the kickstand on my nightstand, and I can still just be in the covers like <laughs> and just play. Like I don't right. have to worry about like having my hand in front of me. I can just be in any position that I want. It's awesome. Yeah. I, I like them. They feel good. Um, the, man, the the sticks feel good. Uh, there's just there's not much I don't like about the system. Yeah, the the, the only like thing hardware wise that I wish is the and I, I I keep thinking about it too. Like, how would they fix this? It, it's the bottom of the USB C. Like mm-hmm. The USB C being on the bottom of the system, like it's really. Um, there's no way to just like charge it outside the dock without it just being in, you, you have to hold it basically. Like you can't kickstand it and you can't do all the other things with it. Right. But at the same time it's like, I don't, I have no idea how they'd be able to fix that solution because the USB C is how it's connected to your TV and doing a lots of other functionality and stuff like that. So, sure. well, here's my question. How often would you be needing that? I mean, I, Lately, like most of my game time has been right before bed. Like I'll put my son to sleep and then I'm just kind of tired of beat for the day. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to take the system upstairs and, and play in bed. So I, I and you kickstand it. I kickstand it most of the time. Yeah. And then you play for longer than like three hours. I mean, if <laughs> I actually kind of like that, it has a three hour tire. <laughs> it basically says it's dying. You need to go to bed. I'm like, you're right. Nintendo Switch. I do need to go to bed. Thank you for looking out for my best interests and allowing me to keep my job. But like, like for example, like earlier today, um, or not earlier today, earlier this week, my wife was playing on the TV and I was playing on the tablet and I wanted to continue playing with with kickstand and it was dying. And she was using the dock because we don't have the second dock hooked up. We just have the AC adapter that came with the second switch as the um charger basically okay so like i'm basically forced to hold it at that point i see so it's happened pretty frequently just because zelda is zelda Mm -hmm. and i've played a lot more than i probably will let's say mario kart or i don't know snipper clips but well here's the question you've seen those stands that you could buy right yeah for like 10 bucks yeah have you thought about just doing that yeah, I, I think that's ultimately what it's going to come down to. I mean, uh, it, it seems like it's it's not a big enough problem because not everybody is going to be kickstanding it and doing the tabletop mode enough to where they would feel like they need to charge it all the time while doing that. Yeah. But there is people that do it, like yourself, and having that option that just putting it in this little plastic stand to keep it elevated enough seems to work, so... Yeah, I really hope that a third party or even Nintendo comes out with a 90 degree USB C charging cable because I think that would be perfect. Oh, that would be cool. They have 90 degree like lightning cables and stuff already, so it's just a matter of time before someone comes out with that. Do they really? Yeah. Huh. How about that? Hmm. Uh, what about the UI? It's super clean. Yeah. It's the easy it's I think it's one of the best console UIs I've seen since the Wii, the original Wii. Sure. It's nice and snappy. Yeah. Everything's so fast. Yeah. Even the downloads are fast. Like the downloads uh Ooh, are faster than speeds. than my PS4. So Well, everything is faster than yeah, PS4 that's, that's, that's true. But I'm just saying like the <laughs> PS4 is 
so much more powerful. Sure. So it should be faster, but yeah. it's not. No. Um, the eShop is, you know, like everybody's been saying, it's kind of sad there's no music. Like, <laughs> I love that iconic, like, <laughs> you know, music from the Wii menu or the Wii U menu. Like, that was right. so cool. Um, so it's kind of weird just, like, opening up and it's just, like, super plain. Like, it's just yeah. like, eh, we're not messing around. I'm just... Well, there's not a lot to look at, so you're not going to be spending much time there anyway. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, again, they're looking out for you. So like, um, you, you don't want to be in here. You want to be go, you want to go be playing Zelda. Get out of here. All the noises are so awesome, too. When you connect the Joy-Cons, it makes that, like, classic snapping switch noise. Yeah. yeah. It's so satisfying every time. Just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so cool. I love you, Nintendo. Um, do you think we'll ever get a trophy system? No. Ah, stupid Nintendo. I know. What a bummer. It's there. It's just, just do it. Just do it, Nintendo. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I. Maybe a specific games might do it, but I don't like that. I just wish. I just. I. I. I it's. It's so weird to me. It just seems like a misopportunity. But who knows? Maybe they'll be like PlayStation and they'll patch it down the road. But I just, I don't. <laughs> it's not like this is a new concept in gaming, though, that they're trying to, you know, figure out what to do with. Like, it's the, the infrastructure is there. My, my thought process was, um, and I, I was reading uh, some, or not reading, I'm sorry, I was watching the behind the scenes Zelda and like there's a GDC panel where the the developers of Zelda kind of talked about its development process mm-hmm. and basically them switching it, no pun intended, <laughs> right. to the switch um, was like a super quick job. Like they, they basically, they ported it over, they wanted to release it for the third and they also wanted to release the switch for the third as well. So my, 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 mind processes is like they just wouldn't have enough time to get that that achievement system in there yeah um plus third-party developers didn't get their dev kits but but like i think i think the final dev kits they didn't get until like way later so like even they couldn't implement something like that in time right so that makes you think maybe like by the time mario odyssey comes out they might do something like that but Honestly, like I, I feel like they're just not going to do it at all. They're just like, sure. eh, whatever. Sure. Uh, so Zelda, uh, we'll talk about it next week. Um, Snipper Clips, you played some. Yeah, Snipper Clips is great. Uh, it's it's a great example of how the Joy Con the Joy Con functionality works in a game setting, like. Here, I'll hand you the controller and solve this puzzle with me. <laughs> right. And I we even played with uh, – my wife and I played with uh, some friends, and we did a four-player four, four player, um, puzzles. And that was just as fun as the two-player ones. It was just absolutely hilarious and fun. And, like, we were crying by the end of it because it's just so – it's so silly. Like the, sure. the character, the character models, like the way their expressions work <laughs> when you, like, jump on top of them. It's just – it's so funny. Yeah. So I, I hope that they come out like with an expansion pack or something because I think it's just like Box Boy. Like I feel like they just need to expand upon this awesome idea. Right. No, oh, totally. Um, did you get any other games? Um, no. Yeah, okay. I just got I just got Zelda. No, no, that's not true. I got one two Switch. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got one two Switch. Uh, that was really fun. Yeah. Uh, it's it. That's another thing that I like to sh- to show off when people come over and be like, hey, play with my toy. Yep. Um, showing off the, the HD rumble and a lot of the really silly, uh, uh, mini games like sure. the, the, uh, catwalk one is really fun to do with people. Yeah. Cause it's just, it's just hilarious. Right. It's just so, it's so stupid in the best possible way. Yeah. Um, so I, I really like that. I'm actually really excited to see what a Mario party game is going to look like. Yeah. Because if they can use, no one simple... has ever said that sentence before. <laughs> I, I dude honestly like <laughs> i love mario party games like the past couple ones where you're all in a cart together like did not like i just sure. wish they could be separated like the 64 ones um but when the wii one came out i thought it was really good um it's just too short like there just wasn't enough there right um so, but now that the switch has like new tech like i really hope that they take advantage of everything that's in the joy con yeah 
hundred percent. Um, that and WarioWare. So yeah, well, yeah, that's the key right there. Um, yeah, one two switch is fun. Um, played it with the kids a few times, and the kids really enjoy it. It's definitely like one of those party games. Like, yeah. I'm never going to be sitting down playing one two switch by myself. If you are, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's a sad day. Let me crack this safe real quick. Like, um, I'm just going to give this to my teddy bear. All right, teddy bear, play telephone with me. Skylanders is really good. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, so was Sky- advertised. Skylanders, you you were saying before, you don't have to scan them every time. You just scan them and do like a character select screen. Is that how it works? Yeah, pretty much. You open up the options. You just pause the game and then it says select character. And you just pick which characters you scanned in and you could just play as them. There you go. Uh-huh. Done. Interesting. Yeah. And they level up and do everything that normal characters would do. So that's pretty cool. And if you ever want to like, I, I think there's a way I haven't done it yet, but like if you want to put those stats that you have on the game back into the the figure itself, there's a way to rescan it and like update it. Mm. So if you want to take it to another game or whatever, you know, play it on the PS4 with the, the figure being actually updated. Interesting. That's cool. Um, Just Dance. My daughter has played a lot of that. Well, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, Can you do the, the four player in that game, there does seem to be an option for four players. Yes, there okay. are some songs that uh, allow four player cooperation to go down. Um, she likes to whip and nay nay it, and of course she does. Uh, <laughs> that is definitely one of the songs that seems to have the four player option. So it's that song and like the dab move. Like that's what that's all the kids yeah, do. These that's days. what the kids I do. Just, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, Josh. No, I, Colin, I don't. I may never say this again to you, um, but you are kind of sound like an old man right now. I'm just saying, like, I don't understand. I mean, what I know is, you're like, what's, what's going on? 17, but, you know. <sighs> you know how, going how, on 18. Is, how is your first Nintendo console, by the way? Do you like it? <sighs> <laughs> you cut me so deep. <laughs> um, yeah, so Just Dance is uh, Just Dance. I mean, is it Just Dance? <laughs> there is not much to say about Just Dance, my friend. I have a question for you about Just Dance. Do you yeah. use both the Joy Cons to dance, or do you oh, just yeah. use one? Yeah, you could use both. Can you do two players with one Joy Con each? I assume so. Okay, they they definitely seem to be encouraging multiplayer. That's cool. Um, so yeah, so then the dance moves would just be registering to the one hand that you're told to to dance with. So nice. Yeah. Um, Wait, did you use the the wrist strap for safety? Of course, dude. I'm not having Joy Cons thrown through my nice TV. So can't trust eight year olds. Yeah, yeah. The those wrist straps, man. Like, I could not figure out how to get them off. Ooh, they are tough. Once I got it on, I kept pressing the button because I thought you detach it, just like you do to the console. I'm like, yep. it's not working. It's not yeah. working. What is going on? And I actually had to like Google and go to YouTube video. I'm like, how the heck do you get this stupid thing off? Yeah. And it's just like, you just tug really hard. I'm like, oh. The fact that you don't push the button is disconcer- is very concerning to me. It's weird. Like it's it's it it seems like you should do that, right? Yeah. Like that's that's what you think of, but it's just like I don't know. Yeah. It was difficult, and it like after it like slides out, you just like jumps. You're like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Did I break it? <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh crap. Yeah. Um, and the only game I have not touched is Bomberman yet. Yeah, so. I I wanted to get that one, but like after everybody kind of poo pooing it, I'm like, Ugh. I'm good with Zelda for now. Sure. Basically, that's what my what my brain said. I, I mean, honestly, like, I'm not a big Bomberman fan, um, but it felt weird to not buy one of the five launch games. You know? Yeah, I understand that. I was just like, you know, this is stupid. I might as well just go all in. Yeah, you gotta collect them all. <sighs> Got to collect them all, Colin. Um, so, uh, hopefully I'll have um, some cutting edge analysis of Bomberman eventually. Um, and then I also got Shovel Knight, both the, the game and the the new DLC version. Um, this whatever mode. What is this? Spectre Knight. Uh, yeah, Spectre of Torment. Mm-hmm. And also the uh, Treasure Trove, which has all the previous DLC. Like the, it's like the Game of the Year edition. 
So do, if you buy the treasure trove, do you get the specter? No, that's a separate purchase. Oh, so you have to buy them separately. Yes. So the Trevor oh, Trove really? is like the, the game of the year edition with all the previous DLC in it. Yeah. All in one package, and that's twenty four ninety nine. Uh-huh. And then the Spectre of Torment is a separate purchase, and that's nine ninety nine. But you can get that as a separate. Like that you don't it's not add on content. That's a whole separate thing. Okay. So you don't need to buy the the original the Treasure Trove version. If you've already played Shovel Knight before, you're just like, I don't need to play it again. Like, you could just buy the $10 Spectre of Torment, and it's standalone. Interesting. Which is nice. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Did you buy any of the Neo Geo games? No. That that was weird. I felt awkward. (laughs) When I looked at the shop, I'm like, oh. oh, I was like, I want it. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who put these bootleg games on here? That's what I was thinking. I was like, this is weird because they're not like you open up the eShop and it's like new releases. <laughs> and I'm just like, first of all, what are these games? Mm-hmm. Secondly, seven ninety nine. Yeah. And then I saw a metal slug. I'm like, oh, OK, I see. But they're just like oddly placed in the store, in my opinion. Like there's just a bunch of them at the very top. And yep. it's just like, what the crap happened yeah. here? It, it feels like I, I went to a wrong page somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the dark net of the switch. <laughs> uh, oh, and snipper clips. Of course, I got snipper clips. Yeah, had some fun with that with my eight year old daughter. Oh boy, so good. You ever wanted to kill a kid before? Play snipper clips. You will learn quickly how badly you want to kill kids. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, play Portal Two co op. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah. Don't do I, it. I have not played snipper clips with Val yet. I'm nervous. I think you'll have tons of fun. I think it'll be like Overcooked where. Mm-hmm. You're, you're gonna have tons of fun which is another game that i cannot wait for that to come out of the switch because sure. i really want to play that so. so overall colin are you happy with your nintendo switch i'm so happy i don't feel any like weird buyer's remorse kind of how i felt with the wii u when it came out like i it, i just love the system um and i'm very excited to see what's in store in the future mm-hmm. every single day i'm like oh man are they gonna announce a direct i'm like it's only been out for two weeks. Why would they do a direct right now? But I'm like, I really want to know what's happening next. Right. I hope they do a direct soon. <laughs> yeah. How about you? I <sighs> love it, man. Yeah. No buyer's remorse ever. Um, but this is definitely nothing I would even like consider being like, yeah, I should have waited, you know? Like, I was an ambassador for the 3DS because I went in on day one. Yeah. You know, and I was like, eh, maybe I could have waited. I didn't need Steel Diver, you know? <laughs> I didn't need to play uh, Street Fighter 4 that bad. Um, pilot Wings. Boy, that was... What a... What People a terrible... talk about the launch went, the launch games for Nintendo Switch. I'm sorry. Ooh. It will forever be known that it launched with one of the best games ever, and that's Breath of the Wild, right? Right. Regardless of everything else, it still had Breath of the Wild day one. Mm-hmm. 3DS... That, whew, woof, woof indeed. So I, I don't know. I'm I'm sick of hearing people complain about the the launch lineup. I'm sick of people complaining about the virtual console. Like nothing else matters because Zelda is that good. Yeah, plain and simple. You know, you're hearing people that have put in eighty, hundred hours and are only thirteen, fifteen percent done with the game i'm sorry what else do you need i don't even understand how that's possible math doesn't make sense math does not there's a lot of seeds to collect Colin. <laughs> yeah God. i hear <sighs> god i don't even want to start collecting seeds you should they're amazing i mean they're i am as i come bad. across them but i'm not actively hunting them down yeah yeah I got like 10 so far. I don't know what to do with them. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can't oh, wait man. to talk about that. <sighs> Nintendo Switch, everybody. Uh, if you haven't got one, you're crazy. Um, good luck well, finding not... one. Yeah, I was about to say, it's not necessarily like crazy. It's like good luck finding one Well, <laughs> if you do want one. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry people doubted the, the Switch and were like canceling pre-orders for whatever stupid reasons they thought. Oh, my gosh. You know, the virtual console nonsense. Yeah, just stop it, people. Um, this is this is going to be good for Nintendo. Will it be the best-selling console of all time? No. 
will it ever be equivalent of PS4 and Xbox One as far as getting like the big third party games? No. Will we have a lot of great Nintendo games and even more third party uh smaller indie title games? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This will be a fun console. This will be an engaging console. It will be something that you uh uh, will play in many different ways and find happiness and joy. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Darn right. Bring on Mario Kart. Yeah. That's the only thing that's going to rip me out of Hyrule. Yeah. It's and like that a... might last like a week. And then I'll be like, no, nah, going back. I'm yeah. going to drive my, my Link character and my little Link uh, motorcycle right off of this course, right back into Hyrule and, and jump back into Breath of the Wild. Uh, Honestly, there might be a portal in Breath of the Wild somewhere to go to the Mario Kart world. Who knows? There's enough secrets. Would you imagine that? Uh, I would just like drop the system and be like, what just happened? <laughs> what world? What is this? Yeah. Sorcery. <sighs> Nintendo Switch, everybody. Colin? Yes. Where can people find you at? They can find me on the Twitters. I'm at PDX underscore geek. You can also add me on Nintendo. Yes. Just hit, just hit me up because it's a bunch of numbers. <laughs> Friend codes are back, guys. Sorry. You know what? Whatever. In this day and age with how easy it is to share stuff on social media, I don't even care. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, we, we didn't even talk about the share button. That's super cool. Have you used it? Yeah. The oh, screenshot okay. thing. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, have you like shared stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not as much as I'd like to because I'm just like so enthralled with Zelda. I'm like, I don't want to do that right now. But like... I think once I get to the point of the game where I'm like at the very end, I'm going to want to like tinker with that a little bit more. So, right. Yeah, that's fair. But, but uh, where, where can we find you, Josh? Uh, well, you can find me on Twitter at the noise with a Y. Um, you can follow the show on Twitter at joys of games. Uh, <sighs> Call. I've been thinking a lot about resident evil seven. Oh, still, huh? Well, not intentionally, but last time we talked about it, you brought up like, I should do a stream of, like, a playthrough, of, mm-hmm. like, a four-hour playthrough. I really want to do that now. Yeah, you should. I think that'll be fun. So, I'm not saying this weekend, but maybe this weekend? Okay. One of the late nights, maybe? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but, yeah. Uh, what else? You could email us. Oh! 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 No, we can't go yet. We have an email, Colin. Oh. We have an email. All Abort. Right. Ship. Don't abort. Stay on board. Uh, this email came in last week, and we didn't record, so we're going to do it this week. Uh, this is sent in from Jeff Grimes. Uh, you could email us anytime you want. Joysofgames at gmail.com. And run the risk of having us forget about your email as well. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Jeff Grimes writes in and says, Hey, guys. On the last Nintendo episode, Josh mentioned that he and Colin became friends over Amiibo. I just always assumed you guys have been friends for years. How did you meet? Did you meet at a store when you both reached reached for the last Waluigi Amiibo at the same time? I'm hoping there's a cool backstory. On another note, can we have TJ on every episode? I love my (laughs) Wii U, but he made me appreciate it even more. I haven't bought a Switch yet. With our second child on the way this month, it's not in the budget right now. After listening to TJ and you guys talk Wii U, I'm even more excited to continue this journey. Plus, I still have around eight Wii U games in shrink wrap that I need to play. Keep up the good work. Colin! Yeah? We need to tell the story of how we met. Yeah. It all started with a website called Reddit. (laughs) Uh, Nothing ever good comes from that opening statement. Yeah, so I went on the uh, R Amiibo subreddit. Uh huh. I saw a posting that said uh, Toys for Games. I think it was episode. Ah, oh, must have been episode. It's either two or three. Yeah, it was one of the uh-huh. very first ones, and it was with your guys's like old like black logo, like yep. the very first one you had. Right. Um, and I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> and then so I click on it, and it brought me directly to Twitter, uh-huh. which brought me to the Twitter thing, and it said Vancouver, Washington. I'm like, "Huh, interesting." So then I listen to the podcast. I'm like, hey, this is really, I like this. This is this is entertaining. Um, this is stuff that I'm into. And in the very end, you you had you, your email for the show, right? And I was basically like, hey, I'm an amiibo hunter too. I'm pretty close to you. Uh, I can help you out. 
if there's ones you're looking for. And yeah. then because this was at the time when like the Amiibo craze was insane. Like, sure. Yeah. Everybody was was. I think this is before it really got even crazier. Yeah, and this was around the the wave two when like Mega mm-hmm. Man and yep. DDD and stuff came out, and I and I <laughs> I remember texting you being like, like, hey, I went to which is Meyer. weird because I'll just give out my number to anybody calling. Well, yeah, I don't did yeah because at at the email you're like yeah you can just email me um or you can text me too as well and so I ended up texting you and <laughs> I was just like some weirdo was just like hey. Uh, Fred Meyer has a bunch of stuff, and you're like, "What, Fred Meyer? No, the, that's a grocery store. Like, you don't carry that stuff." No. And then, sure enough, you went to Fred Meyer and you found them, and you went to all your local Fred Meyers and found like a bunch of them. I may have wiped out stock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was a day. And that's kind of like from there, we just kind of started like talking about different things, and then we bonded over like other podcasts we like and other games that we like, and then we ended up meeting at um for the first time in person with our with our kid and um at omsi which mm-hmm. is the oregon museum oh, oregon museum of it? science and industry there we go yeah um and that's where we met and since then we've been good friends so. now you're leaving that one crucial part here colin yeah you were you were uh, assisting me in, in tracking down amiibo sure yep however you were in the market for two Mega Man Amiibo. You wanted one for yourself, and you wanted one for your kid. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and you're like, "Hey, if you're you're finding all these Amiibo, do you think you could like maybe get me one?" And uh, and I was like, "Oh, okay, you 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 can't get one." And you're like, "No, I want an extra one." And I'm like, "Oh, this greedy son of a <laughs> want two Amiibo." I was like, "Oh, no, I don't know about this," but I was like, "Yeah, sure, okay, no problem. I'll I'll." I'll look out. And then, so at the end of that, like, wild hunt that I had in that one day span, that one afternoon, early evening, um, I ended, I still had, like, three Mega Man. And I'm like, oh, do I let him know? Do I tell him? <laughs> and I was like, all right, fine, I'll text him and, and let him know I have an extra Mega Man. And you're like, would this be weird, like, if we, like, met somewhere and you could, like, give me the Mega Man and I'll pay you for it. I'm like, oh, man, this is getting real sketchy real quick. Like, <laughs> I did not get into the Amiibo game to get into kind of deals like this, you know. And I was like, yeah, yeah, we could we could work something out. And then, like, the next day you're like, you know what? No, I found an extra one, so we're good now. I'm like, oh, thank God, because I don't want to talk to this. Like, <laughs> I do not want to meet this weird guy in this parking lot trying to exchange Mega Man Amiibo. Uh, uh, and then you just kind of stuck around, so... Yeah, <laughs> basically. Yeah. I was really sketched out, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's our story. It is uh, not too long ago. <sighs> We've been good ever since. It's been fun, Colin. Yeah, it feels like I've known you for years. What's that? It feels like I've known you for years, but then again, like that would have made you a baby, and that would have been really weird if I was hanging out with the baby. So. <sighs> Anyway, like Jeff Grimes, you too could email us, joysofgames at gmail.com. This has been fun, Colin. Next week we'll be back with a Nintendo episode. Mm -hmm. I promise it will be nothing but Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We have so much to talk about. So much. Yeah. I'm not worried about next week's episode. I'm legitimately worried about the Xbox and PlayStation episodes. Yeah. Because I'm still going to want to talk about Zelda. Because there's going to be more things that happen to both of us after we record the next episode that we're going to want to talk about. Yeah. I, I, I've actually been thinking about that ever since the Switch came out. Because I'm like, <laughs> I've used Xbox to watch Netflix maybe once. Yeah. Uh, I have not turned on my PlayStation, even though I have Horizon sitting on my hard drive. Right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it'll be interesting. It'll be it, interesting episodes for sure. It will be something for sure, man. Yeah. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll we'll do something. Um But until next week, play some games. Enjoy them. Good night. Good night. Good night.